So are you going to come sit in your chair or are you just going to sit on the floor? I mean, it's okay if you want to sit on the floor. There's a pillow for you. It's just that they can see you better when you're in your chair, so that's all. <laughs> now you're taking a pillow on the other side of the room? Okay. Okay. Maybe you'll come over here later. See if you would just if you would come right here and do something cute, that'd be a great intro. That is absolutely perfect. Yeah, that was perfect. Hello new friends. Hello old friends. Welcome to my channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is May. You can probably hear Jin. Are you sure you don't want to come and sit in your chair? Okay. Alright. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to do a Sakurako unboxing. Not! What the hell was that? <laughs> not affiliated. Not associated. Uh, Sakurako doesn't really know I exist. They are, however, an extremely social company, so if you add them on social media, they will respond. Not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Uh, which means that I can be brutally honest and can't get sued for breach of contract. Not that I intend to be brutal in any way. Um, I've actually been unboxing Sakurako. <sighs> I'm gonna talk about the other channel again. I don't want to talk about the other channel. But I was unboxing Sakurako over on my other channel. So this is not my first Sakurako box. And they're still not sponsoring me. <laughs> um, yeah, so with all that being said, uh, this is... What does this say? In collaboration with the Kyoto Shushinkan Bank and Kyoto. Okay. So there's that. So, I like being surprised. I'm going to put it where you can't see. And I'm going to make sure that I can't see. And right here on the top, there should be a card and a little magazine. In every Sakurako, you get these really beautiful cards. Absolutely gorgeous. On the back, there's a little greeting and explanation about the theme. I have a reading disability, and I don't feel like struggling through this. So, go ahead and have yourself a read. They also have this massive magazine full of words that I'm not going to read. Well, I mean, I am going to read them, just not out loud. Um, the magazine tells you the theme, and the month, and the volume. So the theme is Kyoto Moon Festival. Inside, there is something that falls out at you. Uh, scan a code kind of thing. I think that's what that says. Uh, so in here we have more information about the theme. Some information about snacks. Lots of information about snacks. Little blurbs about each of the snacks. I'm not going to read these out loud. Like I said, I have a reading disability. I used to read them out loud on my other channel, but so many things from that channel are dying and being left behind, and struggling through reading is one of them. So, the information will be here when I get that far. But, little blurbs. And some information on Kyoto. 
all kinds of good stuff in here. So let's get right in here. On top here we Okay, so these are sugar glazed cookies. Neat. Let's see. We've got a hippopotamus. Uh, yeah. I'm open to suggestions. I'm going with hippopotamus. These are absolutely delicious. I would buy these. They're crunchy. And yeah, they're just they're a crunchy cookie. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It is what it looks like. It's a little frosted cookie. Hmm, I really like those. Is buckwheat cookies. Super, super crunchy. It kind of reminds me of um, sugar crisp. You know the sugar crisp cereal, the like puffed wheat with like honey or whatever. That's what this tastes like to me. I really like this. Next thing. Is some tea. I think I've had this before. So, Sakurako does this thing where they give you like a handful of various snacks that you've had before. I believe this is one of them. I don't really know what this is, but I know I've had it before. So, do with that information what you will. Uh, also, I don't try tea in the unboxing videos. Um, I'm going to save them up and do them in a different video. I'm not gonna try one of each, but let's open it up and oh, 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 what, what fell out? Something fell out. We'll do this one, I guess. What might this one be? Uh, this could be brown sugar, Japanese mint, matcha, shiso, ginger, or plum. Hmm. Is there, are there seeds in this? What thing of those has seeds? There, there are seeds in this, right? You can see those? Fascinating. It's kind of spicy. 
It's not brown sugar. I have no idea what Japanese mint tastes like. Definitely not matcha. Maybe shiso? I feel like it could be ginger, but... What are the seeds about? If you have any idea what I just ate, please comment below. It's like... I want to say it's ginger. But what were the seeds about? seeds in other ones? No. No. That's messed up. Not a clue. It was good. I liked it. I'm sticking with ginger. I think that one was ginger. Like I said, if you know, please comment below. Oh my. Super crunchy, um, definitely tastes like a like a little rice cake. The beans here, they have a completely different texture. They're like like biting into a really crunchy hollow candy or something, but they taste like earthy. It's really good. I like these. Oh my, okay, um, another one of those. Sometimes Kuroko gives you doubles, not of everything, but of some small things. And they're weird mystery snack things. Alright, what are you? Oh, you're right here. I love soybean powder. Mm, it smells good. Hmm. So, Kinako, I basically describe it as peanut butter light. It's nutty and it's it's very peanutty, but not quite. It's like, yeah, like the super light taste of peanuts. And this one also has this other taste. It's like sweet. It's probably the, um, that kind of fine grained sugar. Hmm. It's kind of hard to explain. It's like sweetened peanut butter, but not as strong as that. That's what I got. That's all I got. Next. So evidently there's an entire massive history of this particular snack. I'm going to hold the right way up. So, pretty cool. I love snacks that are like super old, you know, like, not like the snack itself is old, but Stuff that's been around for a really, really, really long time. 
like mm -hmm. Necco wafers. No one likes Necco wafers. I do. I think they're neat. <laughs> so there's like three of them, this strange shape. I'm sure it explains what uh, the shape and everything is all about in the in-depth article. Mmm, really smell the cinnamon. Beautifully cinnamon. It's got the texture of like a fortune cookie. Hmm. I really like these. I hope there are more of these. They kind of remind me in the flavor of like cinnamon toast crunch. And in the texture, it's yeah. It's a fortune cookie like texture with a cinnamon toast. It's like a cinnamon toast fortune cookie. I love yuzu. It's one of my favorite citruses. It's um. It's a hard flavor to explain. It's kind of like a cross between the lemon and a like mandarin orange, but not quite. It's more like astringent than that. It's really hard to explain. Very citrusy. This is a dorayaki with pancakes with stuff in the middle. Yuzu stuff in this case. So it'll be um. Yuzu flavored uh, white bean paste, I think. Mm. Mm. The pancake parts are like soft and really cakey, and the White bean paste is really, really smooth and yuzu flavored. It's not like strong. It's not like boof yuzu, but it's more like a nice, reasonable flavor. <laughs> it's definitely there, but it's not really strong. Yeah, you done? Everybody said they didn't get to see you. So, uh, I don't love matcha. Just putting that out there. It's just... I find it kind of bitter. I mean, people sweeten it with all kinds of stuff, but I usually find that it's just the base flavor is bitter. And this is falling to pieces. Okay, hang on. Just grab these bits here that are falling off. That's really pretty. Tastes like wafer, like a like an ice cream cone kind of wafer. What? I don't care for this one. <clears throat> um. Yeah, there's this weird flavor that's just. It's not matcha, it's not 
wafer. It's something that I don't particularly like, more so than matcha. What is? Yeah, no. Just talks about the matcha. Yeah, I don't like that one. I don't think you're in here. Okay, I didn't think so. So this is a cheese cookie. It is one of the bonus snacks. Um, I had a rule on my other channel that if I got it in the previous box, I wasn't going to try it. But since this is a new channel, I'm going to go ahead and try this. Because I remember trying this. It was safe. If I get a bonus snack and I think it might have apples or nuts in it, then I'm not going to try it. I remember this one fairly well. It's a cheese butter cookie. Why is this good? It's like if they use cheese instead of butter to make a butter cookie. And interesting. We gotta may contain walnuts here. Uh, how brave am I gonna be today? I already ate a may contain apples. Hmm. No. I'm not gonna risk this. Can't have walnuts. I'm not actually sure how much I can't have walnuts, which is why I'm not going to risk this. But just know that I really, 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 really love wasabi and pistachios. And that's gonna go to someone who can eat it. You have apples in you, don't you? Yes, you do. These kinds of breads almost always have apple in them. No. I love sweet potato. Well, somebody's going to enjoy that. And I will watch them terribly jealously. Jealously? Ooh, I don't think you're in here. You are, in fact, not in here. Speaking of sweet potato, it's a little sweet potato jelly thing. It's a little stuck. Which is kind of ridiculous because that's the whole point of this paper that it's wrapped in. It's wrapped in this kind of paper. It's actually rice paper, and you can eat it. Mm. If you're ever eating these kind of candies, and you don't know whether it's rice paper or like wax paper or something, just find a piece, rip it off, and put it on your tongue. If it melts, you'll probably eat it. If it doesn't, I wouldn't try it. So this is a sweet potato jelly thing. Mm. Mm. 
So, imagine like a gummy candy. And then make it sweet potato flavored. I love these so much. It's earthy and it's sweet and it's got this kind of like roasted, baked kind of flavor. Mm. I just love it so much. Sweet and earthy. In every Sakurako, you get a housewares item. Is my camera really gonna die already? What time is it? Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, housewares item is what I was saying. And this... is this month. It's super pretty. Kinda looks like it'll glow in dark, but it, it doesn't. It's got this weird texture to it. See? A bit odd. Anyway. It's not dishwasher safe. So that's cool. I really love getting the uh, little housewares items. I like these. They're just soy sauce flavored um, like rice cracker things. Are they rice? I guess they're wheat. That is a soy sauce flavored cracker. They're not too bad. Okay. I'm gonna plug in the camera. What's a Go for it. Hang on. A wafer of crispy fried potato cut to resemble a small waffle is the very first thing that Google just told me. So I'm going to go ahead and believe that. Anyway. So, uh, once again, I state that I neither like wafer or matcha. So, a chunk of that. Why did I take such a big bite? So yeah, no. This is a ugh. big old no thank you from me. Don't like the way the wafer tastes. I don't care for matcha. Somebody likes it. That someone is not me. More soy sauce crackers. I do really like these. They're so simple and like plain, but they're just absolutely delicious. Some tea. Oh, 
same page. I absolutely love hojicha tea. So, like I said, I'm not going to do these today. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a video where I just drink tea, I guess. So make sure to subscribe for that and hit the like button since you're there anyway. Um, and what else? Uh, Twitter, and apparently I still have Instagram. So you guys can follow me over there if you would like. Anyway, two tea, two, two tea, two bags of tea, two tea bags. Somebody put that in a sentence. Thanks. this <laughs> This is Boo. That was just I was just doing this that whole time, wasn't it? Fascinating. So no for those. And I think there's only one thing left. It's some chili pudding. It's some pudding. <laughs> okay, I'm so afraid to read this description. Because I really, really, really want to eat this. But a lot of the time, there's like apple and stuff, so here goes. I am safe. I'm excited. Sorry. <laughs> Shut up. I'm excited. Deal with it. Um, I'm wearing elf ears. You expected some kind of sanity from this channel? That's your problem. Okay, so, this. So, I'm not going to try this in this video. The other box that I'm going to be unboxing here, uh, it's called Tokyo Treat. In every one of those, it comes with a, like a cup of noodles, so I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save this, and later this month, I'm going to try it when I try the noodles. And yeah, that was everything in September's Sakurako. Don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and introduce yourself to the like button, and hopefully Jen will be here next time. Her purring made an appearance, but she kind of didn't. Um, I guess that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Hello new friends! Hello old friends! Welcome to my channel! Uh, for those who don't know, my name is May, and that weird sound you hear in the background is not my camera melting down, it's actually Jin, my cat. Did you hear her? <laughs> anyway, uh, cat ASMR is wonderful, but not what we're here for.